it's like 7.40 in the morning and uh, we are here on the island of uh, Madeira. It's very likely that this is the last time I am on Madeira this, uh, this year. For the first time I came in April and since April this is my 13th time here. It's actually a little cold. I don't even know at what time the sun comes up. It's 7.44 and it's still really dark. I never came for a walk in the morning before work. I've been to Madeira this many times, obviously not for fun, but it was because I had to. It was uh, for work, but I remember that every time I used to go to get breakfast, which was around like 7.45 before work, it was still dark. And maybe now that the winter season um, is coming, the sun comes up even later. Anyway, what's the plan for today? Um, we are going to visit this village called Santana, which is a bit on the north to see these like traditional houses from Madeira, like the kind of houses in which people lived apparently when the island was discovered. You know, it's very interesting because the other day they also told me that in the past many people used to live in kind of like caves or like stone houses which are built inside the caves. What we are going to see are regular houses from, from wood, like colorful houses. Then we are going to go to the highest peak of Madeira, to Pico Ruivo, where the peak, like the top top, is uh, still closed after after the fires. By the way, I came to Madeira also in the time when there were the big fires, like you could see it from the from the plane. I think I have a video of that. Then we also have a lunch booked on a super nice place. It's like a hotel with a super nice view with wine yard. And then, to be honest, I don't even know what else are we supposed to be doing today but I need to get coffee before breakfast. You know, the hotel I'm staying at, I usually stay in the same hotel. It's a really cool hotel um, with a really good breakfast. This hotel is in one of the top five hotels with the best breakfast I've stayed at over the last like two years. But the coffee, I don't know, the coffee is not there yet. So we need to stop by in a coffee shop. Apparently it was a super moon uh, yesterday. I don't know, my sister was sending me some kind of an article that it's supposed to be uh, really big and I wanted to go out yesterday night for a walk but I was so tired that I just gave up. A lot of people tend to think that Madeira is only one island but it's actually an archipelago which is made up of several islands. There are two islands where people live, so Madeira is the biggest island, and then you have uh, Porto Santo, which is from the north shore of uh, Madeira Island, and then uh, there are like two other islands which are made up of several like small islands, but uh, people don't live on, uh, on those islands. It's 8.14 and uh, the sunrise still didn't happen yet. Let me check at what time it should be. 8.16. The sunrises on Madeira are for people like me. The sunrise is at like 8.16. I don't have to wake up early to see the sunrise. From what I've read, the population here on the island of Madeira is around 240,000. If you compare that, um, to the Azores, for example, they say that the population 
of all the nine islands together is uh, 240,000. Here Funchal, which is the capital, like uh, Funchal and uh, its area, they say that uh, it's around 140,000 people living there. If you compare it to the Azores, on the whole island of Sao Miguel, there are 140,000 people living, more or less, you know. So imagine the amount of people who live in Funchal and its area is the same amount of people who live on the entire island of Sao Miguel. I usually stay in the same hotel, but let me show you the view. Well, the sunset is going to be nice from uh, here. It's so crazy, I think I already mentioned it in one of the videos that uh, when I started coming to Madeira there were some random people texting me that uh, their mission is that I start liking Madeira more than Sao Miguel. I don't really understand this life mission of uh, some people. Vôbec, no more sa stratila. Na Bali. Uf, to tu nevieš.